Here we are looking at the microscopic slide of the epidermal inclusion cyst. Here we have the skin surface with epidermis, here we have the dermis with hair follicles and sebaceous glands, and uh, here we have relatively large cysts aligned by uh, stratified squamous epithelium with normal keratinization. Normal stratum granulosum is present, as we, we can see it here. The cyst contains laminated keratin material. It can be connected to the surface, however, some cases associated with traumatic etiology um, can be without surface connection. In some cases, uh, the epidermal inclusion cyst can rupture, and then we can see the chronic inflammatory reaction around the foreign body material. And that's what we see here in the second slide. It's basically keratin material in the surface, and then foreign body type uh, inflammatory reaction with multinucleated fused um, macrophages or giant cells. The original lining of the cyst is no longer visible. So this was, this was a brief description of epidermal inclusion cyst, also called atheroma. Thanks for watching.